Hello guys, Jenkins is an open source automation server which enables developers to build, test and deploy their software. So let's install it on AWS AC2 instance. So I am here in AC2 service on AWS and now I want to launch my instance. In here I am selecting Amazon Linux 2 AMI and I am selecting this one. So next I am selecting T2 Micro, this is free tier eligible and I am going to configuration to this instance and configuration details are fine so I go to the storage for storage is also looking good no change needed in my case so I going to tax and for tax I want to name my instance let it be um, Jenkins yeah that's look fine yes it's J Jenkins going to the security group and for security group what I need to do, I need to add two more rules to my security group. The first one will be um, HTTP and it is here. I want to open port 80 and it is here, port range 80. Another rule, it's a custom TCP rule and uh, I want to select this one, custom TCP rule is from the this list and I want to open port 8080. This port able uh, allow us to open my instance from the web browser. So, and this is a summary of my instance. I want to launch it, and before launch, I ha I can to create a new key pair. This is usable for connection from your terminal. I'm creating a new one. You can use existing one. I'm downloading to my computer, and it is launching. Okay, now you can go to your uh, AC2 console. It is here. You can see your instance Jenkins is on the list and the status still is pending. Just wait a couple of seconds, refresh the browser and its instance state is now running. That's fine. And now I am able to connect my instance from, from the web browser. So I'm clicking on connect. And in here, I want to open my instance from here. And uh, now you open it in your instance uh, from the browser. F and first of all, you can to clear the screen. This is what I want to do right now. It is a welcome message that is not needed. No, no setup now. Yes, I want to now set up my Jenkins. And first of all, I need to update the packages. Okay, it's looking good. Next thing, I'm adding uh, the Jenkins repository to install Jenkins from. Okay. Next thing, import trust key from the Jenkins repository. And then um, install Java 180. Also, it's finished. And then install extra packages from uh, Enterprise Linux. It is EPEL. Yes, I'm selecting yes. I agree with these details. And then finally, install Jenkins itself. So far, so good. Just wait a couple of seconds. Installing. Yes, complete. And now I want to start my Jenkins. Yes, sudo Jenkins start. That's it. Now my Jenkins is running. I can to open my Jenkins interface. And this is what, what I want to do right now. In your instance details, going here, I want to use a public IP address. It is from here. It is a public IP DNS address. I want to copy this address to my browser. It is here. And then I want to use a port 8080 at the end of this address. So write it here. Open it up. OK is preparing for work. Sorry that is Lithuanian language, but it is the same for English or any other language. 
and now I want to open my Jenkins. I need to access my password that I'm using to log in. And the password is located in this directory in my instance. So I want to check what is inside this directory and copy and paste this password. So I'm cat this password. It is here. I want to copy this password from the terminal from the instance. So I'm copying. Yes, I copied. And now I want to paste it in this password field. So continue. I don't want to save it. So now I am able to install my packages and uh, you can see this uh, wizard and I want to install my environment. It is installing and once it will be installed, I can to create my user. It is administration user. So let's wait a couple of seconds until it will be installed. As you can see, here's a big list of features, of packages, of services that you can use for your uh, workflow in AWS or in our cloud pro provider. So it's almost finished and we can to create our user. And this is my user and the password. It is my name and email. So I want to co complete it. And here is a Jenkins URL. You can use it to connect to your Jenkins and make control in your instance. I want to finish. And this is all what I wanted to show you today. And uh, what you can do with the Jenkins, you can create a job to connect to services with your Jenkins uh, user. Uh, for example, you can to create a build a workflow for your ML flow for your machine learning software. And that's it for today. I hope it was useful and see you on the next video. So bye bye.